Well, hey there, guys. How's it going? Welcome back to another game tutorial by Rexbury. Let's start by getting this out of the way. All right. So today I'm going to show you guys how to create bouncing in your games. All right. So this is really simple to do. Um, it just takes, I believe, two actions. Um, I believe. Yeah. Anyway, we'll know when we get into it, right? So uh, anyway, um, basically, I'm going to be uh, creating a ball. And uh, create an object out of that ball. I should have said ball fright. But anyway, um, a ball object. And I'm going to have it bounce all around the room. Uh, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that. And the reason for this is a lot of people actually don't really know how to do this. It can be pretty complicated for them, like a new GM user. Uh, so I just want to kind of get this out of the way. And um, just you know, kind of show you guys how to create bouncing in games. So, yeah, and by the way, there's no coding in this, just so you guys know. Um, I'm going to start, like, if there's coding in the tutorial, um, if I remember, um, hopefully I'm going to state it, um, because I know that can get, anno like, really annoying and stuff, and if you're not expecting coding in a video, and then someone just starts coding away. So, uh, yeah. All right, so, and I also have some other stuff to tell you guys, but I will tell you guys while, uh, that while I'm creating a ball spread, okay? So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get created are creating and uh, yeah so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and create a sprite and I'm just gonna name this SPR underscore ball alright at the sprite and just create 32 by 32 sprite alright so anyway uh, basically what I want to show you guys today or tell you guys about is uh, requested tutorials alright so so far I believe um, like with the request tutorials that I'm doing pretty good on them. Like I believe I finished all of them that you guys requested so far, uh, except for puzzle platformers, which um, I definitely am going to get that created. Um, the reason it's just taking so long is because for that, like that is a pretty uh, good tutorial. And uh, oh, really quick, we also need to create an SPR underscore wall sprite. Okay, sorry about that. Anyway, um, basically, um, that puzzle platformer tutorial is a pretty, it's going to be a pretty big tutorial, and so I really want to have my audio worked out. Like, so far, I, I think I've got some of the, uh, whoa, okay, some of the kinks out of my audio. Um, I, I noticed it has been a little higher lately. Um, I did some tinkering around with it, and uh, yeah, but for that, I really want to have, like, perfect audio and stuff, because that... Uh, can frankly get pretty confusing at times, and that is the wrong spot for those to highlight things. All right, so anyway, um, so yeah, that puzzle platformer is still on my list. Don't worry if you're watching that video or this video and you requested it. And uh, yeah, also uh, really quickly, we're gonna go ahead and create two objects, and let's name the first one obj underscore ball, and the second one obj underscore wall okay and really quick uh, the second tutorial that I'm backed up on right now is uh, um, like a second enemy AI kind of thing and uh, did I do a first one um, yeah I believe I did a first one uh, anyway yeah it's a um, another like advanced enemy AI and uh, <coughs> excuse me I am gonna get around to doing that um, it's just a matter of when I have the time to do that because what the, the guy requested for that was, um, it's, it's not so much that it takes so long, it's just kind of a lot of code, and so it takes a while to explain that and stuff, so yeah, anyway, that tutorial's coming on too, and yeah, anyway, that's pretty much all I want to tell you guys, so yeah, we can get to the uh, tutorial now, uh, now that we've created our sprites and objects, okay. So we have an SBR wall, a well, basically a ball sprite and a wall sprite, okay? And we created two objects for those and named them OBJ wall and OBJ underscore ball. Well, underscore for both of them. All right, so for your wall object, you obviously just want to choose your wall sprite. And all you need to do is check solid, okay? All right, and hit okay. And go into your ball sprite, do the same thing, except for don't check your ball solid. All right, so this is all you need to do for uh, for this. All right, you need to go on your ball s or object, add an event, create, click and drag over the move fix, and just choose all the um, diagonal arrows, all for the uh, diagonal arrows. And I'm going to go a speed of 10 for my ball. All right, so that's how fast he's moving. And by the way, um, when you ch uh, click more than one arrow on here, 
uh, especially the diagonal arrows. Um, your ball pretty much just choo when it gets created, it just chooses at random which direction it uh, wants to go. So, yeah. All right, and what we want to do now is add event, collision with our wall, and click and drag over a um, bounce. And all we need to do is hit OK. All right, and actually really quickly, um, well basically what precisely and not precisely is, is... Well, I guess you you guys will see. Okay, you guys can actually kind of mess around with that. Okay, so hit OK. I'm not really going to explain that right now because I just kind of want to keep this tutorial pretty short. All right, and now what we want to do is create a room. Uh, take that grid off. And just want to layer your wall all over your room. I'm going to change the snap really quick. 32 by 32. All right, there we go. And basically, uh, really quick, what the snap is. Um, is it changes the uh, the grid. So like right now I'm moving each square um, one basically one square over 32 pixels over. If I were to change that to 16 again by 16, uh, it would change like each individual square again over. But it's by a, it's like a 16 pixel square. So yeah. All right. So anyway, just wanted to tell you guys that really quick. Okay. And I'm gonna turn that grid off now. Whoa. All right, so just layer your ground all around your room. And I could be holding shift right now, but I'm holding the microphone, so yeah. Okay. Oh, man, this takes a while to do. There we go. All right, so now what we want to do, after we've layered our wall all around the corners and edges of our room, we want to click and drag or click on the uh, inside this blank kind of palette here. All right, and choose your ball object. And just place it anywhere in the room. I'm gonna place it right there. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and switch to a different view really quick, show you guys the uh, the full kind of um, full kind of game here. All right, so I'm just going to switch to a different view and uh, run my game, and I'll see you guys in just a second. All right, and we are back. Let's start bringing this out of the way, as I always say. All right, so um, as we can see, or uh, as you can see, or I guess we, I don't know. Anyway, um, as we can see, uh, we have our little ball object kind of just going random places here. And um, every time it hits the wall, as you can see, it just kind of bounces off, all right? And it's going to keep doing that for the end of time or until your computer breaks down. All right, so um <laughs> of course, I mean, uh, you can always close it, but you know. All right, so anyway. Um, basically, that is how to do bouncing in Game Maker. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the tutorial. And uh, yeah, there will definitely be more on the way. As I told you, I have uh, more request tutorials to uh, go ahead and get started on. All right. So, uh, but yeah, anyway, until then, or until my next tutorial, I guess I will see you guys later. Remember to subscribe if you want to. And uh, just to stay, you know, stay updated. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time.